So, folks, um, we are with DeMar DeMar DeMarco. DeMarco. Forgive me for butchering that. I'd That's screw okay. up with two car parade right now. Anyway, so DeMarco, so uh, what's your name? Mike what? Wagner. All right, and you are the president of the company, right? I'm president of uh, Service Logistics. Okay. The portion of the company. Portion of the company. Okay, so top dog here. <laughs> All right, so with that, is a first off. The AIAG conference is your company. You like have a, a an expertise with the automotive industry, I guess. We do. Okay. So, what are some of the things y'all do? Well, we work with a variety of customers. The piece of the business that I'm in is the warehousing and, and distribution. Arm. Okay. So okay. we do the contract logistics and service logistics. Sure. The um, component that we work with is dealing with the supply chain. So some of our customers ship product into the United States. We warehouse it for it, and then we deliver it to like Tesla or Ford or some of those different companies um, to support their supply chain. Okay, excellent. With that, at this conference you're uh, exhibiting here, so are you, uh, I mean, I assume, that, have you been a member here or something, or is this your first time? At this time? is my first time. I don't know <clears throat> if uh, DeMarco has... Um, actually been here before. Somebody else would have to answer that one. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, has it been a good conference so far? It seems like I, there's people that are definitely stopping by the booths uh, that I've seen. It's a it's a great conference, in my opinion. It was a little bit different than what I thought it might be, um, but we found different companies that I've been chatting with where there's actually potential synergies global versus conflicts. Hey, hold on. Uh, We've been talking to different companies that have different challenges. Uh, Mexico has become a developing area, so they're talking about cross-border stuff. They're talking about the FTZs. Um, so we're, we've been able to assist in that because a lot of the things that we provide are value-added services within the warehouse, but we also help with the cross-border stuff. We also focus on door-to-door -door kinds of deliveries versus just getting it from point A to point B. Right. So let me ask, what would be one of the biggest challenges that um, people do that kind of undermines their efficiency of a, of a warehouse? What, what, what something that you're able to step in and help solve? Well, it depends on the type of company. Like if it's a startup, as an example, they're very disorganized. So we're going to create a lot of organization to it because we have to be organized to be able to have the flow in and out in the most efficient way. Otherwise, it just gets more expensive. Mm -hmm. Some of the other things that we do is we try to find areas um, that can assist the customer in some way. Mm -hmm. So we have a current customer, as an example, where they were challenged because they were it was costing them so much more to ship finished goods in. So we literally installed a robot in one of our warehouses, and we're doing finished goods. We're taking raw material, going through the the actual assembly process and coming out with finished goods. Mm -hmm. So we look for those value added services to try to help them. Um, I mean, folks, we're probably one of the types of companies that wants to work with the customer the most and partner with the customer the most. I know those are cliche lines, but sure. I mean, that's really what we do. Where where a customer has trouble and they need a lot of help getting things sort of thing, that's where we really shine. That's excellent. That's excellent. Well, I, it seems like people, uh, as far as this conference goes, the interaction here, too, the networking has really been strong. I mean, I've seen people interact during the breaks, at lunch, obviously stopping by the tables. Uh, have you kind of seen that? I guess uh, hopefully you're getting some good leads here. Oh, we are. We are. Yeah. I think it's been really great. I like the way they're doing the uh, the cards where you get to stamp because that initiates a conversation. I thought that was kind of a pretty cool idea. Yep. Oh, yeah. So everybody stops by and, and gets in. I guess uh, has a raffle for, uh, uh, I guess, a free interest for the next go round. Right, right. Excellent. So even if they didn't know they wanted to talk to you, they find that they do. Well, that's the one thing I always t uh, encourage people. Doesn't matter if you're in the industry or not, or you have a need or not. When you look at the vendors, go and see what they do because you never know. You change jobs, change companies, whatever. All of a sudden, hey, I need a vendor and I know who has that so fantastic anyway. it's been good all right folks aiag this has been a good conference here if you're looking to exhibit for next year maybe this would be a good one for you as well as uh you know just uh, come and uh expand your network and all that and mike i appreciate it thank you all right let's put it